Now if you're using a DSLR camera like this Canon or this Nikon camera and you are shooting in auto, you're going to find that sometimes your pictures look blurry and out of focus. Hi, I'm Paul from Photogenius and in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix the focus and nail it every time. Now for this video I'm going to be using Nikon and a Canon DSLR camera and I started by doing a little experiment with this Nikon D3400. Now here is our office dog. Let me introduce you to Charlie. Charlie was chilling out on the office floor. There's a couple of toy balls in front of him and what I did is I dropped the camera down to a very low angle and I took three consecutive shots in fully automatic mode. Now you'll see in the first picture the ball closest to the camera is in focus, the second ball and Charlie blurry. The second picture, the second ball, the yellow one, is now in focus, the other ball and Charlie again out of focus. And finally in the third picture, Charlie at last in focus, the other two balls out of focus. Now what's happening here is this, if I'm in full auto and all I'm doing is pushing this shutter button on the top of the camera, the camera is then making decisions on my behalf. In the first picture, the camera decided that the ball closest to the camera was the subject. In the second picture, the second ball was the subject. And in the third picture, the camera decided that the dog, Charlie, may be the subject. So it took three goes to get a nice, sharp photo of Charlie. And that's not how it should be. So this is another reason why it's a good idea to get out of the auto mode and learn how to use your camera manually. So we're going to begin by getting the camera out of the auto mode and into one of the manual modes because that gives us more control over the camera. There's a few different manual modes to choose from, but I'm going to spin the wheel on the top of the camera around to the letter M, which is full manual. Now this allows me to control some of the key functions of the camera. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set it up so that I can control the focus points. That way I can tell the camera where and on what I want to focus on. If the subject's in the middle of the frame, I can use the middle focus point. But if the subject is to the side of the frame, I can use one of the focus points to the left or to the right, or maybe even the uh, focus point at the top or the bottom of the frame, depending on what my composition is and where my subject falls within that composition. And setting this up on this Nikon is super easy. I'll show you on the Canon camera in just a moment. Now to begin with, we are gonna press the I button on the back of the camera. Then we're going to select from the options, autofocus area mode. There are two options on the D3400. There may be more on your camera, but what I'm gonna select here is single point autofocus. I press the okay to select and that's it, it is done. I can now move the focus points around. Now to see this, put the camera up to your eye. Using the little control wheel on the back of the camera, press up, down, left and right and you'll see the focus point moving within the frame. All you've got to do is move it to where your subject is. When you press focus, your camera will now focus specifically using that focus point. Super easy. I'm now going to show you how to use the same function on the Canon camera. Here we have a Canon T6 if you're in America, uh, here in Australia and most of Europe. Um, it's the EOS 1300D. And again, this camera is in full automatic mode, which means I don't get to control much, if anything at all. Um, I want to change that. So I'm going to start by putting the camera in the manual mode. Turn the wheel round to the letter M, very easy. And now to control the focus points, I push the button here on the rear of the camera. Now what is displayed at the moment is the term auto selection, which means that the camera is gonna automatically take control of the focus points. Now I wanna do this myself, and this is super easy on the Canon cameras. Again, you push this button, and you then turn the wheel or the dial on the top of the camera. Turning the wheel, allows me to select the focus points manually. I just turn the wheel and I stop when I um, have selected the focus point I wanna use. So here I'm gonna select the one over to the left of the frame. I then press the shutter button lightly and that focus point is the one that is active now, the rest are turned off. So when I look through the viewfinder on this camera and I press the shutter button halfway down, I will see the left focus point is the only one that's working. I can see the little red light in the viewfinder. If my subject is now in the middle of the frame, I push the button on the back of the camera again, turn the dial until the middle focus point is selected. Now, again, if I repeat, 
I'm now seeing the flashing middle marker flashing, uh, which indicates that I'm only focusing in the middle of the frame. So just as easy, if not easier, on the Canon cameras to tell the camera specifically where your subject is. Now just to recap, this video, like most of my videos, is about giving you control over your camera so you can take better photos. If you just stay in auto, you have no say in what's going on with the camera at all. Once you press the button, the camera does all the work for you. A bit of time spent in manual and learning some of the basics will improve your photography. And today was about learning how to specifically tell the camera where your subject is and on what you want it to focus on by taking control of the focus points. And once you know how to do it, it's super easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you want to see more of Charlie, comment down below. We'll see you next time. See ya.